Hi everyone, this is Ben Francia. In this video, I'll be talking about the seven easy steps in planning for your new website. Putting up a website, it's very much like building a house. Do you start constructing a house without first sitting down with your architect and put up a plan or blueprint? The same is true in building a website. You need to put up a plan for your website to make sure that everything that you want and need is in place and at the same time, sticking to the budget. The lack of planning is normally the number one cause of any web development project to fail. So if you don't want to end up spending a lot of money or not finishing your website at all, I highly recommend that you consider these steps. So here you go. Step number one, do some goal setting. The goal of your website should address the primary objectives why you decided to build a website in the first place. So ask yourself these questions. What is your primary reason for putting up a website? Is it purely for online presence? To have a place for people to post an inquiry or reach you online? Do you intend to sell something? Or probably is it just for you to have something for show to clients or probably investors? Identify what exactly your website is supposed to do and define what will be the indicators that will let you know that your website is successful and serves its purpose. Step number two, define your target market. Identify who do you want your website visitors to be. What are their demographics, their age, gender, location, buying capacity? All of these are important things to consider in designing your website. Step number three, design your logo. Your logo or corporate branding should reflect your preferred image and identity. If you don't have a logo yet, you can hire a designer online to create a logo for you for as low as $150. To help you have a smooth logo design project, you can download my logo design questionnaire from www.benfrancia.com forward slash logo design questionnaire forward slash. Just fill in the blanks and hand over the answered questionnaire to your chosen logo designer to simplify the process. Step number four, list down links to websites that you wish to emulate. A good rule of thumb in building a new website is see what works for others and imitate the best. By this, I don't mean that you have to strictly copy everything about a particular website. Just select bits and parts of different websites and see what would work for you. Then see how can you apply those things on your own website, adding your own preferences and customizations. So start browsing other websites and jot down some notes of things that you like in terms of design, look and feel, and of course, in terms of features and functionalities. Step number five, list down features and functionalities that you want to have. Do you want a shopping cart? Do you intend to accept payments online? A newsletter probably? How about an inquiry form? Keep it simple and put in only the features that are essential. Step number six, prepare your content. Your content outline will be the basis of your sitemap. Here you can summarize what are the different pages that you need, the different sections of each page, the amount of copy to be written, and also the other types of content like photos, illustrations, and videos that you need to put in. And finally, step number seven, figure out a budget. Be honest to yourself and figure out how much you can spend. Websites, as I mentioned in the first part of this video, are like houses. The range of costs depends on the features that you want and need. And most of the time, you get what you pay for. The first six steps of this list affects your overall budget. The information that you will gather is needed to get an accurate cost estimate from your web developer. You can sit down and work with your web developer to get a good balance between your needs and your budget. Be ready either to cut down your wish list if you have a limited budget or add a few dollars if the cost estimate is a bit higher than you expected and you don't want to compromise the items on your wish list. I've also created a web design and development questionnaire that pretty much covers everything on this list. So just fill in the blanks and you're ready to talk to your preferred web developer. You can download it from www.penfranchia.com forward slash web dev questionnaire forward slash. So that's it for this episode. I hope this helps you prepare and plan for building your new website. This is Ben Franchia again saying, you can be successful online, you can make it happen.